Is that intentional because of how late it is, or what? But I haven't found the pharmacy yet. It's the entire reason I even went here. I may not be able to go to the pharmacy because it's just the horde is too high up here. I can try, but... Okay, there's the pharmacy. I found it. Unfortunately, the vast darkness is going to make this kind of hard to loot. Okay, there's a med kit. If I can survive this, at the very least... There's another med kit. Okay, so anything else in here that I can get? Besides zombies. There's plenty of that. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. If possible, anyway. Yeah, that's another swarm of zombies over here, but I was able to take them out. Okay, we are good. We are good to go. Let's just take out the zombies that are surrounding this car here. And I, well, I finally head out. Most importantly, we'll actually be able to get some healing, too. Come on. There. Finally can head out. Nice. So I found three medkits. That's still not a whole lot. But at least it'll be enough to heal some of us. There you go. Healed a bit. If really feels that he has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. This may turn into... One of those times a sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressures of the zomb Zombocalypse, this could break morale. Sure. Well, the bag is... He takes a big sneeze. Accidentally sneezes into the bag. He may as well eat the entire bag of chips now. Well, lost the food at least. Alrighty then. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Camp with them. Why not? Nothing unusual happens if we eat a decent meal. Nice. Three driving days until Canada. Oh, God. This is getting really under the wire. I'm starting to run out of low on food again, though. <clears throat> While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. City road with car, bullet-ridden house. Can't just ignore them. I'm running low on gas again. This is all just like my z online zombie video games. The group siphons gas from some abandoned vehicles and then spots a magazine in one of the cars. It's an issue of prep prepared preppers. The special condition in mint condition. Prepared. Share with everyone. Everyone passes around the magazine, reading what articles appeal to them. Like always, everyone eventually someone gets peanut butter stains all over the mag magazine to the point where it becomes unreadable. 60 gas. Medical increases. Everyone's medical increase. Good. The medical increase, too, for someone. That's perfect. Good timing with that. The more your, higher your medical stat increases, the less I believe you need med kits. Find a row of cans sitting on a wooden fence. Sure. Shooting increases. A man in red long johns runs onto the field with a pitchfork. My cans, my precious antique cans. Oh, look, look what you've done to them. He shakes the pitchfork as he yells. <laughs> well. That happened. At least I know Georgia's loyalty now. The group meets a woman limping around with a crutch. One of her legs was wounded in a recent fall as she was getting away from zombies. The group lacks any medical supplies to help her with. 
This is gonna be nasty, but may as well. Easily robs the wounded woman of what little supply she has left. Way to go. Pretty dickish of me to do that, but I, well, hey, gave me some food. At least now I know what the composure is. And it gives me a little bit more food left, too. Uh, attempts to fix it. Okay. Gotta keep that car going. Oh, uh, yeah, trader camp. I need food. I desperately need food. It's a big trader camp. The last poor Andre, I knew him. Alright, being stuck in this camp, she will join you for a small fee of five food. Loyalty and medical. No. I can't afford any more people right now. I can help you get better at repairing stuff. It's a real handy skill. Might save your life. No. She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. This is going to be dickish, but... Yeah. People in the trader camp swooping to defend her. <laughs> I don't mind fleeing the trader camp because look, I have seven med kits now, and I need those. Hey, he only he only uses one med kit now. Good, 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 good. Affected by the stress of his hopeless situation, strength decreases, fitness decreases. That's not good. While surviving on the death road, the sides make a stop for supplies. A rest stop. Yes. At least now we have some supplies, some med kits for now. Which I'm grateful about. Wow, food right here. Unfortunately, the car is freaking surrounded right now. And us driving in didn't really help matters. I'm really amazed I've been able to make it this late into the game. Not even kidding. Oh god, now we're finding food too, which is perfect. Finding food too? Hell yeah. Something will go wrong. I just know there will be. I know there's the final... There's gonna be a butt-ton of hell I'm about to go through in the final day before Canada, but... Hey, another med kit. Oh my god, the amount of stuff I'm finding. What is this? Pistol. Hello. What do I have in terms of... Okay. Just checking the medical supplies. Glad that my... Partners are actually helping me out here with picking up stuff. Comes a long way. Okay, nothing in there. Looks like this place is cleared out. Okay, anything else of note around here that I need to, uh... About. Doesn't seem like it. Yep, there we go. Oh, look who's trying to catch up to me. Later. <laughs> Good. Another 12 gas. I need more gas. Good. More med kit usage. More of them being used. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person in to loot. Um. 
Hmm. That is a good question. Let's see. I don't know what I need for this. I really don't know what I need for this. May as well. Oh, good. The other members stand guard outside for the looters as he searches for the grocery store. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, so I haven't even tried. Brings back some food. Hey. They immediately ate it, but hey. At least everyone's morale increase. I'll take it. And now everyone's fully healed. Oh, there's the full, uh... There's the health increase I didn't know about before. The group runs into an, a very out-of-place vending machine. It looks like someone made it from chunks of scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. Real revolver set. Box of bandage. That'd be nice to have. Who should feed the mo mostly rotted dollar bills into the machine? 